So eventually something French crosses my path and I must admit I greatly appreciate these vibes. As expected from a French product the design is quite unique and I mean that in a positive way referring to those more successful designs at the same time not forgetting some others mainly in the automotive industry. Anyway, coming back to the Boreas, really the only thing I don't like is their higher than usual height of 38cm. Honestly, I just much prefer the standard proportions, better suited for a desktop setup. Besides, Bora 3 looks wonderful and I definitely recommend this color choice, in which the front matches the white membrane and the light wood creates this nice contrast. Silver ornaments look convincing, the lack of visible screws and grill holes deserves recognition. In addition, the surrounds of the speaker are made of a softer kind of rubbery plastic. The venue may be artificial, but you wouldn't know it. Both up close and from a distance, the quality is pretty sensational. The icing on the cake is the terminals on the back. To say they are the best in class is to say nothing. But as always, let's move to the most important, sound quality. What surprised me at the very beginning was the amazing scale. Triangles can build an unusually large and lively soundstage, probably the best I've ever heard from a speaker this size. And this is also intensified by the brilliant natural mid-range. Vocals are articulate, large and have a solid body. In mentioned terms, performance is simply unmatched by any of the rivals I've heard. Heck, I think it would not be an exaggeration if I said that in those terms Bora 3 could compete with even three times more expensive speakers. At times I could really say they outshine my quadrals, not to mention they could easily rival the Wardell Evo 4.1 or even the Sonus Faber Lumina 2. The linearity of the midrange appears to be confirmed by measurements in my listening room. As a reference, as always, I've used my Quadral Platinum Plus 2, and where in Quadrals there is a dip in a 1 and a 8 to 3 kHz area, triangles are coming off very smooth. And interestingly, for the first time ever, I think, the bass looks to be at least partly stronger than in my quadrals. Although, to be honest, this could not always be felt in person, maybe because quadrals have better layering and actually a bit more bass below 50 Hz, then it's also worth reminding of the limitations of my measurements. Forgive me fellow hobbits, but I cannot yet afford to build an anechoic chamber. But actually, there is one more explanation for such perception of lower tones overall frequency balance. Just take a look at the graph again and notice what's happening in the high frequency area, right from 5 kHz. Frankly, there is a lot going on here. To label treble as bright would be an understatement. While the level of detail is fairly decent, it's unfortunately not even close to compensate for sharpness and a mode of sibilance. If you follow my channel, you may remember this little synth I've played in regards to the Bowers and Wilkins 606, where sugar symbolized excess in treble. Sadly, the same goes for the triangles, which becomes even worse in contrast with unheard of in this class qualities they possess. The higher frequencies sound just cheap, messy and out of the place. On the other hand, in most of quote-unquote budget speakers I've tested, flaws like that are to be expected. I mean, for example, sharpness in Wardle Diamond 12.2s, lack of clarity in Mission QX2s, or below average soundstage of QAcoustics 3030Is. Is that usually positive and negative sides of a speaker are more evenly balanced, and weak spots don't feel as disconnected from rest of the presentation as the treble does in the case of triangles. And although, as mentioned, soundstage is huge, both in height and width, in fact at times it plays like a floor sender, there is a bit of depth missing here, especially at lower volumes, which probably points to the treble again, the thinness of which overshadows the overall body. To sum up, evaluating the speakers was quite a challenge for me. Triangle Borea 3 proved to be an absolute killer in its class when it comes to mid-range and scale. I think they could be especially good proposition for more acoustically troublesome room and as an alternative to floor sander for smaller rooms. 
For low volume and near field listening, they are probably not your best bet, which is a kind of a shame from my perspective. This speaker packs a really huge potential, which was unfortunately a bit wasted with sharp and cheap highs, disturbing the overall tonality. And ultimately, this is what determines the final rating of a speaker. It is with heavy heart that I give them 4 stars. My friends, if you like this video, consider visiting my newly created website mReviewer, where I'm going to post written reviews with measurements and unpublished high resolution pictures. Link is in the description. See you in the next one. Peace.